recording of part two. So it's part two of the Ultrabook News live review of the Acer S3. In this uh, session, which is part two, uh, we're going to do boot test, standby test, uh, some browsing, show you what apps are pre-installed, uh, talk about battery life a little bit, and uh, heat and noise, uh, sort of initial impressions from me of uh, what I've done, the work I've done over the last couple of days with it. Uh, don't forget to, to like the video, and uh, Ultrabook News is on Twitter and Facebook for you as well. Switching then to the device, I've got it uh, completely switched off. Remember, this is a 320 gig, 20 gig HDD flash hybrid hard drive. So what happens is you've got 320 exposed to the operating system. The 20 gets used um, in a hidden way as a flash cache, maybe. Um, I think probably in the same way that the SD cards were used to, to speed up Windows 7 or Windows Vista, right? I'm not 100% sure how that works. But let's uh, time the the turn on uh, speed of this from cold and you get a feel for for what that uh, hard drive adds to this, the um, the boot experience right here's the power on button we're going to do that in three two one on right so post is fairly quick it's done and out of the way in five seconds starting windows and we're 10 seconds in. The fastest devices are booting in around 20 seconds. Um, LG claims the Xnote 330 will boot from cold in 11 seconds, I believe, which is pretty stunning. I don't know how they've managed that. They've probably shaved the post uh, time right down to, to nearly to nearly, lo nearly nothing. We're at 25 seconds. Sorry, that was 30 seconds. 35. And we got a screen up. 40 and we're to 45 now still waiting for a login 50 seconds so obviously a lot lot slower than um, SSD based uh, devices and that's coming up for a minute now so this is a standard standard boot time for a hard drive a Windows 7 based uh, hard drive based device no way we're in at just over uh, a minute, so 65 seconds. I'm going to write down for that one. So uh, not too 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 quick at all, really. But um, what this uh, Acer S3 does have is a very nice standby mode, which will basically allow you to to run the device in standby and not have to switch it off. I mean, you'll do switching off when uh, you need to reboot for software or for updates, etc. But uh, in normal use what you're going to do is you're going to do that um, and then that will last in theory for uh, 50 days so I think what they're talking about is it's uh, lasting in standby for you know five or six days <coughs> and then maybe pushing into a lower almost hibernate state with the uh, with the data on the uh, SSD so that's in standby now let's show you how quickly that uh, that comes back to life when we lift the lift the screen and that is literally a second uh, before it's available and as we boot in the Wi-Fi is already connected so uh, it's almost instant on there so that's a really nice way to use it it's reliable so far I haven't had any any issues with any uh, coming out of anything coming out of standby um, so I'd say you know think about what uh, how often you're going to use boot full boot um, 65 seconds uh, may not be a major issue Two seconds is is a lot faster than even SSD based devices like the Samsung Series 9, which takes four or five seconds. This is almost on as you lift the screen up. So give you an idea of uh, what's running on the device. I've actually removed um, antivirus and a Norton Online backup uh, system on this because um, I really wanted to get rid of those. I think it represents the way most people are going to go with their devices. Uh, we've got 85 processes running right now, so fairly standard Windows 7 install. There's uh, obviously things like the Bluetooth uh, stuff going on. But let me show you what uh, what apps are installed by, by Acer. And I'll just try and zoom in there for you. Quality is not going to be great on this on this stream, but there's a fair bit installed. Uh, some of it not that uh, exciting. Got the deep sleep settings. Now this allows you to choose... 
between um, how often it goes, how how available it is in the sleep mode. Uh, so this is set to uh, to go into a very deep sleep, uh, which is probably almost hibernate after 480 minutes. You can set it to 120 minutes, uh, two hours if you want. But that's uh, eight hours uh, setting there. Uh, you haven't got USB charge, uh, sleep and charge on here, so there's no uh, USB uh, sleep and charge c uh, configuration. E recovery management, Acer updater is the driver updater. VCM is, I believe, to do with the uh, identity protection module, which is in this. Uh, and the welcome welcome center has got some crapware in it as well. Skype is pre-installed. There was a bunch of games that were pre-installed as well, which I. I, I I, I took off backup manager. You've got uh, the application for the webcam, and then you've got uh, PDFs as well. There's Clearfy as well, which is the uh, DLNA application from Acer. I haven't had major success with that, and my uh, DLNA server, which is a Buffalo server, uh, there's a Bo uh, Dolby uh, configuration. Uh, my WinLocker is pre installed. What else was pre-installed? McAfee Family Protection, Microsoft Silverlight as well, I believe. New Blue is Artifacts. Okay. Oh no, that's for um, that's for Cyberlink Power Director, which I've got installed here. So there is some crapware on here, and it kind of again represents uh, a lower cost. What you might find in a lower cost device. It's the same one that Toshiba 835 from Best Buy. There's a lot of pre-installed uh, software on it. Obviously, that helps them uh, cover some of the some of the costs. Um, right, two two other things I want to, to talk about now briefly, which uh, don't go down well on, on, on video. So let me just talk it through. Uh, battery life, we are looking at uh, five hours um, is a good average figure that I've seen so far. So that would be for uh, web working, working within web applications over Wi-Fi in a a normal, normally lit room, um, and that would go down to about four hours if you started to do some maybe image editing, uh, throwing up a, a number of tabs on Chrome with Flash running in, for example. Um, it would go up to about seven hours if you weren't on Wi Fi and you had low screen brightness and you were just typing away um, f uh, six to seven hours with that no problem and then down to two hours if you're going to do anything really heavy work like video editing or gaming or um, or if you've basically been pretty lazy with the device and I expect after six months ownership if you've got a bunch of stuff installed and there's loads of stuff running in the background um, you'll see the you know um, the power drain figures the average the background power drain just gradually creep up and uh, you could get yourself to a, a situation where whatever you do you only have three hours um, battery life which is going to be quite easy to get to that situation so be careful keep the Acer S3 clean it's not as efficient as the Series 9 that I've tested from Samsung that is a super efficient platform you keep that clean and that can give you some amazing battery life this one's not quite as good you know if, again the cost balance here, you know, you're getting, you're seeing what you you get for a cheaper device, and the efficiency, the way it's built uh, in internally, is uh, probably a bit cheaper. Maybe t more USB connected devices, for example, which would push background um, drain down. Anyway, that's on the battery life. In terms of uh, noise and heat, the fan does come on fairly quickly. We're in battery saving mode right now. We've only been on for maybe 10 minutes, and the fan hasn't come on yet. Well, it is on. Sorry, it is on very very quietly I can just feel a little bit of temperature coming out of the exhaust port uh, there but it in a in a quiet room if you're um, doing some maybe web work, web work or uh, normal office work that fan will ramp up and you will um, hear that fan noise it's not going to be perfect for those working in very quiet environments in a normal office environment probably acceptable and for most scenarios probably acceptable but uh, for those wanting the ultra ultra quiet experience maybe home workers um, people working in uh, at universities in libraries quiet rooms that sort of stuff you probably don't want to, to have this and actually combined with the noise of the keyboard your neighbors might not uh, may not appreciate it as well uh, in terms of heat um, nothing really too much to talk about did some gaming tests did some video rendering tests it does get warm naturally and you probably don't want to be doing too much gaming on the lap 
for video rendering on the lap it's going to get warm but it's average it's not uh, it's not uh, class leading but it's not uh, it's not a, a major major problem again the sort of price performance balance there so what we'll do then in part uh, three we'll cut that one there in part three I'll want to show you some um, oh no one thing we want to do on this part of the video is just quickly fire up the the browser and give you some browser experience uh, tests here okay so let me just uh, zoom in there and we'll get so uh, we'll get Chrome up and uh, you'll see how quickly now we're working over a local network here hotspot is just uh, a few meters away obviously Chrome starts extremely quickly I'm gonna go to news.google.com to pick out some some random uh, news items and uh, let's just pick out one two three four five six okay so I've got 32 uh, sorry 20 megabit down download speed here and uh, got some content loading there some flash content maybe so that's the the Guardian loaded with its uh, ads Financial Times loaded there CTV whatever that is independent Guardian and Reuters so flash is on really no problem there running uh, those five at five uh, tabs and you can go to 10 20 30 tabs I'm, I'm pretty sure I've been running Mainly, I'm running five, six tabs, three of which might be applications, th uh, three of which might be sort of uh, just basic websites. Um, but I don't think you're going to hit any m any limits and, and unless you're <laughs> really running, you know, 50 tabs or more, uh, which you probably shouldn't do anyway, really. So, in terms of uh, the Google, sorry, the web experience there, the Chrome experience, uh, pretty good. I'm going to do uh, one one little test, which will be the Sun Spider test get the JavaScript uh, benchmark we're in battery saving right now so I'm gonna go out of battery saving ah that was the other button that I was looking for the direct um, the direct uh, button for energy saving or power mode and you haven't got that on here so you have to go into the traditional through the traditional method of uh, setting the uh, power options manually which uh, takes a little bit of time maybe so let's kick uh, kick off Sun Spider and uh, see how long how long that takes. So Core i5 1.6, and what I'll do is I will put up the Task Manager as well. And this is obviously going to affect things right now, and that's running at about 29, 28 percent CPU across uh, across the four cores. There was well, two cores plus uh, each one is hyperthreading as well, so four effective effectively four cores that's done pretty quickly and that's done in 393 milliseconds which is uh, well anything below 500 milliseconds is really is really good and getting shaving 100 milliseconds each time off 500 milliseconds is something you'll never really notice in browsing uh, because of all the other things that's, that go on as well so that was a really basic test we'll, in the next session we'll do video tests um, uh, video conversion performance what else did I want to do we'll look at the battery life uh, figures again we're measuring those as we as we go along this evening uh, I won't uh, I won't take a, a data point now we'll do that later um, uh, what else did we want to do I've got some games we can look at and maybe we'll do the cam and talk a bit more about the keyboard maybe so thanks for watching uh, part two of the Ultrabook News live review. Uh, you can catch uh, catch um, the other parts on YouTube. I'll put them up on YouTube. Uh, don't forget to like the videos and follow us on Twitter and visit us at ultrabooknews.com. Thanks for watching.